Hello and welcome to Notts County Talk. This is uh, our instant reaction to Notts' new signing, Jacob Bedu. Um No nonsense, set and a half by the looks of it. Re obviously, genuinely really, really happy with this signing. Um, Centre half signing exactly what the fans were calling out for, exactly what we were all calling out for from the end, well, halfway through last season. We knew straight away that we needed defensive um, support. We wanted it in January, thought we'd go with Warner, but but now we're making defensive signings exactly, exactly what we've all been calling out for. You don't have to be a football genius um, to work out that's what Knotts needed to sign, but sometimes these signings aren't made, so it's really good to see that Maynard, the board and recruitment obviously identified it like everyone else has and have moved quickly on it. Um, I think it's very important when making defensive signings to move quickly on them so the, so the players have got time to bed in. Um, you want that you want that defensive unit to have played lots of times together, trained together, um, get that sort of cohesion and communication. So, sort of instant reaction, Jacob Bedu, he seems like a great sign, you know. Um, He's got EFL experience. He's played, you know, 40 odd times last season for Morecambe, played in League One, been on the books at Aston Villa. Um, so an experienced defender who's 24 years old, six foot tall, quick, um, no nonsense, clearly going to be good on the ball. I'll talk you through a little bit of his career, but yeah, so he started off at, at Berry, um, did well at Berry, then made, 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 went, uh, moved to Aston Villa for a fee. Um, didn't play for Aston Villa's first team, but, but captain there under 23s and did well there. Then went to Burnley, uh, didn't play for Burnley, went on loan to Morecambe. Played a few games for Morecambe, then got signed on a permanent for Morecambe in League One. Played for him in League One, then played for him uh, all of last year. Obviously, what can you go off for? We drew with them 0-0 last season. He played in that centre-half. They played against us both games last season. They played really well defensively away at their place last year. Um, in, in, in the early in the early stages of the season, where we drew nil nil, then obviously we beat them five nil at home. So don't read into that one too much. But from what everything I've seen, it seems like he's a quick, no nonsense defender. I've just watched his interview. I'd recommend everyone to go watch the interview. He comes across really well. Obviously, he signed a three year contract, so he's, he he came across and really made out as if he was really happy with the project, really excited by the project. That's sort of demonstrated by the three year contract. He um, probably had, had offers from other places, I would assume. You go onto the Twitter when Morecambe released their retain list. There's there's tweets underneath there from other fans in League 2. You've seen Bradford fans saying, you know, sign Jacob Bedu, sign him. There's a bit of shock that he'd left Morecambe. So, yeah, would have had interest from other places. It's really good that, you know, Knotts have obviously shown him the project that we want to that we want to bring him on. And he's obviously really happy by it. He knows Dan Crowley, played with Dan Crowley. It said in his interview... Um, that he's he's already spoke to Matty Platt and they both sort of have said that their their main aim next season is to keep the ball out of the net. I know that may sound obvious and stupid, but it didn't seem like we had that last year. It seemed like the defenders' sort of main priority was to play on the ball and not to keep the ball out of the goal. So I feel like signing you know two players who obviously look no nonsense and that you know will be good on their feet, but just want to get the ball, keep the ball out of that net is a huge huge sort of a, a positive and a bonus for us. So yeah, good signing, quick, athletic. Um, in international for Granada, played one game for them, so get your new flags ordered. But yeah, a player in his prime, 24 years old, only going to improve. Athletic, got Naus of the league already, and will make a good sort of defensive unit with Matty Platt. I'd like to see another defender signed. I don't mind Cameron being in that back three, but I want them all to have competition. You play better when you've got sort of challenge and more competition for places. So yeah, would love to see another defensive signing. And then obviously a goalkeeper to sort of reassure it all at the back. Um, a goalkeeper with VFA experience would be lovely. Um, but yeah, overall buzzing with the signing, experienced, as I said, athletic, athletic player um, who should be really exciting and we can all, all get behind again. So hopefully we don't have to wait as long um, for the next signing, but at least we're getting the key positions done early. As I said, hopefully a goalkeeper soon to come. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.